I'm blessed to be here. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As you have heard, my name is Pastor Stephen Moy, and I believe that part of my family is also in this school. Hallelujah. Amen. You can guess one of the guests had a name Moy. The other Moy is here. Amen. Amen. I'm born again. Christ is the Lord of my soul. I got born again when I was a young man, and I cannot be able to regret. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good in my family. We are blessed as a family, and we have four handsome and wonderful boys, by the grace of God. I'm a teacher by profession also. I teach in a school known as Mary Hill. Mary Hill is one of the schools in this region. In fact, the Christian Union will be planning to come and visit you, perhaps if possible this time, and be with you. Amen. Amen. And we bless the Lord. I'm sorry I had to do some change of program. I was supposed to minister in the afternoon. But uh, it happened that I'm on my way going to a place called Oloitoktok in Kajiado, where there's another wicked challenge that we had arranged, and I was also the chief guest there. Amen. Until tomorrow. The Lord is good. Now, I was told to talk about queer behaviors. Queer behaviors. When we talk about the word queer, queer talks about something that is strange. Wicked behaviors. Buana wetu na asetiwe. There are things that young people like yourself can do. And perhaps later on I'll be mentioning some of these queer behaviors that can curtail you from achieving that which you want to achieve. And I want us to believe, just like we have our brother, this brother Joseph here. Brother Joseph was one of the CU leaders in this school. And I used to, to come here minister when he was a student. He left in 2014. And you can see, where is he working now? In Kahawa Garrison. That is in the army. Yeah. Our friend, Brother Simon, is also a retired soldier. Mm. Also from the army. Mm. And we bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we bless the Lord for this. Allow me to use my notes. So that I don't take a long time. And we, we are talking about those queer behaviors. And allow me to only talk about the queer behaviors on sexuality. I know there are many queer behaviors. But I'm going to only mention the queer behaviors that have to do with sexuality. And I also like also to define the queer behaviors as also sexual perversion. You know, the word perversion, perversion means to divert from the true intent. Diversion from the true intention, the true purpose. God created male and he created female. And God created them so that they can be able to procreate. There is nothing better than when sex is done at the right time. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse number 1, the Bible says, there is time for everything. Right now, I would like you to be the best student that has ever been born. The best student that the joy town will always remember. There are very many students who have passed through our, our hands. I have thought over 20 years myself. And you know, there are very few students that I can remember by name, by character. Some of them I can remember them because of good behavior. Others I can remember them because of very bad behavior. You know, you always remember those two. And unfortunately, the average I never remember. They just passed through the school. And today, I want to say that when we talk about perversion, we are talking about some that is queer, some that is strange. Sexuality in the wrong way. 
And sexual perversion is any deviation from righteousness. When you deviate from righteousness in the sexual behavior, you can say that you are sexually perverse. And in the book of Genesis 1, verses 27 and 28, God says that he created them male and female. God had an intention. He had an intent. Today, there are people who want to change their gender. I am a biology teacher. I teach biology, I also teach chemistry. And one of the things that I can say about biology, when a lady is giving birth, once the baby comes in, the first thing that the doctor will ascertain, after the baby is born, he wants to know what is the sex of this child. And therefore you pronounce a bouncing baby boy or a bouncing baby girl. However, we are in a generation where people have mixed even sexuality and people don't care. But uh, we are going to see some of the dangers of all that perhaps later on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God expects us to be pure. In the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 7, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 7, the Bible says that God did not call us to be impure, but he called us to live a holy life. Sexually pure means that you are sexually untouched. It says I, I can control, I can handle my sexuality in a way that is holy, in a way that is honorable before God. Being a virgin is just part, just a small part of being sexually pure. This morning I want to say that you can be a queer virgin, you can be a sexually immoral virgin, yet nobody has ever touched you. I'm very sure right now you're asking yourself, how? Can I be sexually impure, yet I have never been touched? And I want us to digress and maybe move deeper so that we can be able to understand what it means with this thing we are calling sexual purity. Hello? And I want to say this. When we say, for example, you know majority of us have a very big issue with what we watch when we go to the holidays some of us you spend hours they will spend a long time maybe in movies others will watch pornography and i'm very sure that one is very common in the boys and the girls are also saying what a man can do we can do better <laughs> and they're also joining up the phrase Hallelujah. Yeah, people are competing. Girls are also coming up strongly in what? Watching pornography. I want to show you one man in the Bible who watch very... There are two guys in the Bible who are very good in watching porn. You are not the one who has started watching porn. One of them is in the book of Genesis. His name was called Lot. You know Lot? He was a nephew to who? Abraham. Abraham. This guy, he was told to choose where he wanted to stay. And the guy chose somewhere near Sodom, at the gate of Sodom. And the Bible says he used to sit at the gate. Why was this guy choosing there? You know the word Sodom? The queer behaviors are called Sodomy. And the origin was Sodom. Hello? And this guy loved watching live pornography. <laughs> and even took a wife from Sodom. And even, you know, this guy was saved only because of Abraham, who loved God, who was afraid of God. And it is good to have friends who are friends of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you know, because of this watching of <laughs> Sodomy, 
and he married a wife from Sodom. Even when he was given the salvation, and God told them, go and not look back. The wife said, I cannot leave all this Sodom behind. What did she do? She turned back and became a what? A pill of salt, sodium chloride. Praise the Lord. Those are some of the dangers of watching what? Pornography. You can be a what? A pillar of salt. Praise the Lord. You can become sodium chloride in chemistry. There's another useless man in the Bible. He's very useless because he also used to watch porn. Do you know his name? The guy is in the book of Judges. Chapter 13, chapter 14, chapter 15, and chapter number 16. You know, a lot of chapters dedicated to him. His name is Samson. Samson, you know, his name means sunshine. You know, Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. You know, this guy was supposed to be sunshine. He's a savior of the nation of Israel from the Philistines. But this guy, if you read Judges chapter 13, you see the commandments of God. What this guy was never supposed to do. He was never supposed to, you know, even the mother, you are carrying a very important person. You know, this guy was a Nazirite, just like Jesus. Guys that have been set apart from the womb. And I also believe I'm also a Nazirite. I believe you're also a Nazirite. God has set you apart. <coughs> Hello? You know, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 1, from verse 10, that before, from verse 6 up to verse 10, I knew you before you even entered into your mother's womb. I consecrated you. I set you apart. And there are things that we came to do. We never just came here to occupy the air. We never came here just to be another figure. We came here that we may call the shots. Hello? That we may be great. But Samson, being a deliverer, just like Moses, the guy was just very useless. If you read Judges chapter 14, verse 1 and verse 2, these are the first words that are recorded of Samson. Samson went in the Philistines, and then he saw. What did he do? He saw. What did he see? He saw a Philistine girl. And he's telling the mother, Father, mother, as I, walking, I was walking through the Philistines, I saw a girl. Bring me her to marry. So Samson had a very big problem with his eyes. He was a porn guy. Praise the Lord. Let me teach you the word of God. When you look at Samson, the judgment that was given to Samson, when he was caught, they did not remove his transformer. <laughs> Hello? They never, they, they never removed his sexual organs. You know what they removed? They removed his eyes. Because the eyes were the problem. Hello? After the eyes were removed, the Bible says in Judges chapter 16, this guy was able to kill more Philistines than he had killed with all his eyes together. Hello? I'm asking what must be removed in you for you to get to your destiny. That's a question I'm posing to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell him or her, watch what you watch. You know, you can be a virgin who watches pornography. That's a queer behavior. You can be a virgin that spends all her time watching, you know, soaps. You know, girls love soaps. Like those ones who are from my tribe. There is something called, a useless thing called kumkumbajia. <laughs> and it is loved by... <laughs> Even boys are now competing in kumkumbajia. Ayy. The only bias. In the Vijana. You see yet. Now, as a teacher of chemistry, let me teach you some form 4 chemistry. <laughs> Topic organic chemistry 2. Subtopic soaps and detergent. Definition of a soap. A soap is a cleansing agent. It aids water in cleansing. The soap operas that we watch, some of the things that they show us 
have nothing to do with the cleansing of the mind. They dirty the mind. Now, during our years, our young years, there was only one, one station of television called KBC. There used to be one soap. That soap, and it ran for a very long time. It was called The Bold and the Beautiful. I still remember it because that time, people could flock there and watch. There was a guy called Richie. There was a young, very beautiful girl who was also a scientist. Richie, I don't know whether his father was called Peter or called who. But this beautiful girl was a girlfriend to Richie. Then he dropped Richie, took the father. From the father, he went to the brother. Then came back to Richie. What is a soap opera teaching you? You know, if you look at that, that is incest. Praise the Lord. Some of us will go to hell. Not because you are bad. It is because of what you are what? Watching. May the Lord God help you. What about if you are a girl with a virgin, but I'm very good in texting, chatting, dirty stuff, sending your nudes. Are you still a virgin? Hello? Watch out to again on my best party. Praise the Lord. Muko Aji. Muko Po. One other thing I see here. So we are saying, the Bible categorically states that we need to run from certain behaviors. I wish God starts showing you the kind of a person he intends you to be. The queer behaviors will prevent you. It will make you to become average. You see, being on a wheelchair cannot protect me from becoming what God intended me to be. Praise the Lord. Having issues in my physical body will not protect me from who God intended me to be. The only person. You know, majority of the time we blame the devil. After devil and Ashakaraka. You know you have made the devil so famous. <laughs> the devil is just a very useless person. Praise the Lord. Some of the things we are doing and blame you who? The devil. And I said, Maka, me at the CEO By the way, the young people today, the devil is running around to those tricks from you. You're even training the devil on how to become queer. By our queer behaviors. I joined TikTok last week. But the one. It has been too cold. Especially by these ladies. You don't have to show your nakedness for you to get the likes. There are things that are called private parts. In the name of Jesus, what is private should remain what? Private. They are private and confident and confidential. Because some of us think that for me to get 100,000 likes, I need to strip off in front of people. You are just useless. You are just a rock's wife. And sodium chloride is waiting for you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Are we together? I also want to say this. Virginity is glorious. As a lady, the best gift you can give your man in the future is the virginity. And it is what? Glorious. Praise the Lord. So we need to abstain. And you know, there are also some other useless people. Yes, they have never met a girl or a boy. However, they must date. I know your language, you call it kunyonga. May the Lord God help you in Jesus' name. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, a Corinto wa kwanza murago wa sita, mustari wa tisa na kumi. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 10, do not be deceived. I am righteous. Shall not inherit the kingdom of God, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. You know effeminate, they are people who are not satisfied with how God created them. 
I'm sure you have seen someone called Kenovia. There's a guy called Kenovia. He has a body that is shaped like that of a woman. And he does some cross dressing. And you know, he even says there are so many men in his inbox. Don't you know that he's a what? He's a man. That is what is called being effeminate. Or you are a lady, but you want to be like a man. You shall not go to heaven. Praise the Lord. Abusers of themselves. With the mankind. These are the guys that we are talking about. Wale ambao, wananyonga. Those ones will never go to heaven. Wanyongi, I had in your bank. I had it for a move. Praise the Lord. Unless they change their behavior. Hallelujah. Vijana, kunyonga is a queer behavior. And it should be, should be rebuked in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Allow me to talk about a few examples of queer behaviors. I, I know I have talked about masturbation. These are sacred seeds. And I know even right now here, there are many people who are struggling with this seed. Masturbation. And whatever men can do, women are doing it better. So I'm not just talking about boys. I also know there are girls who have been caught up in the what? In the threat. This is a this, this I would call it a social disease. Associated with a lot of shamefulness. Number two is homosexuality and lesbianism. If it to equal. There are many girls today who are saying, I am attracted to only girls. Because we read Genesis 1, 26 to 28. God created them male and who? Female. How can you be attracted to another female who has the same organs as yourself? How can a man be attracted to another man? Physics teaches us that like charges repel. It's a queer behavior. And it should be condemned in the name of Jesus. Another one is pornography. You know, when you watch graphics, you watch movies. And by the way, today you need to be better. I'm a lover of movies. Except this year. Kwa upadu wa movie ni meyokoka muwaka huu. Praise the Lord. Na hii mwaka na hii. There is nothing you cannot be able to defeat. I love the movies. I could watch a series. You know some of the series are so good. They look good. I'm saying good in good. Because you need to ask yourself. Is this thing commendable for me? Hello? Hello? Ask your pertinent question. Is this thing going to benefit me? Because some of us who spend 10 hours watching some useless stuff. Let me tell you something about the movies. And that is why I stopped watching them. And you can also be delivered. And nobody prayed for me to be delivered. I only woke up one day as you are jumping in the ear, as you are saying that there are new year resolutions. One of the new year resolutions I made was I will not watch anything that God cannot watch. Praise the Lord. Mm. And it was it. I was delivered. You know some of us are looking for deliverance. You know you have to go and you come out there a bigger sinner. If you are a 50 percent sinner, you get 75 percent. Because after you are busy, you are going to be a machine. So you are going to be a And you quadruple your problems. You can just decide today, Kunyonga Wisha. Today. There's a man in the Bible. Hello? There's a man in the Bible called Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Anakutu and Musa. Anakutu and Pharaoh. Ninakuretea ma frogs. You know, remember the, the plague of frogs? Nazirikuwa bingi. Unaenda kurara wakati unanjoku kuna watu anangonotanga. Unafugua mudomo. Chura inaingia. Unaenda kupika, kupika uji, zinavikia hini suyu ipuru, zinaingia kama tano. 
Unaenda kwa chao unakuta zimejaa huko. Pharaoh was asked by Moses, "When do you want the churas, the frogs to go?" And the useless guy said, "I want them tomorrow." So he was ready to stay with the frogs for another 24 hours. Mimi kuna vitu ambavyo zimenikalia na siku ya kuondokea hadi leo. Sio kesho. Stop procrastination. Eh, hey, wanalika tutaongea ama tuoge? Yeah. Tunaongea. Kama ni deliverance, I decide and I make up my mind when. Today. Sio tinataka kunyoka kesho na iacha leo. Praise Jesus. Uh, allow me to go. You know, sex sexting. When you fa- have flirtation, you are flirting with a girl, telling her how her nose is put at the right degree. I like the way it is created. It is facing two degrees of this. Now, let's <laughs> turn our channel and be. Wasichana tunakuwaga na shida moja, sisi wasichana tuko na shida moja. Shida ni kuwaga wapi? Tamasikio! Unaweka kisichana kikitaganywa na kijana. Alafu sijuri, munachoraka nini chini wasichana? Kwa hivyo hivyo? Anachora mafu ya Afrika, anamalisha na nana Amerika, kutoka hapo anachora ikine ya USA. Halo? Inasema ni kuogia tunaogia. I am not preaching, I am talking. And I want us to talk. Do your behaviors. Mutu wana kuwerezea mavitu, na unaikia box. Let me tell you a secret. Vijana musisikirize. I am talking to God. Wachana wa me together. Let me tell you one secret about men. Men never give up. At the men, they go hatua kwa hatua. One hatua, anaikia. Ana kanza kwa pia hello ana sema hi acha ikia hapo ya kwanza ana ndio alikoje ameingia tena if someone takes to you you have the ability you have the capacity to stop reply jaboriki na wanamo akiona kwamba you are too hard to get they disappear i love giving a story And I think this story can be very good for this for this one. I will never go to a place that I fail to give this story to young people. A story that was written in uh, WhatsApp groups. How I lost my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not the one who wrote it. Because I don't have a girlfriend. Praise the Lord. So this young man had said he was cohabiting with a girl. They were not married. The girl was young. I used to come to his house and they could do the things that all the people are supposed to do. One day in their church, they were told that we are going to have a what? We have a, a revival meetings for three days. Just like the way we have revival meetings. The purpose of a weekend challenges to revive our spirit and revive our lives, isn't it? So, but this one was in the evening. The first day, Kulikuja Kimutuki Kubwa, a big minister of the gospel. Akahupiri, nothing happened spiritually. They too, a mighty man, yeah, mighty. And this guy had even bodyguards. I'm very sure you have seen that kind of preachers with the bodyguards, you know? Mm. Nothing happened in the spirit. The that day there came a certain young man, a young man. He never said who he was. He stood on the pulpit, told people, stand on your feet. Let us worship the Lord. As he was worshiping the Lord, heaven opened. People got healed. You know, the Spirit of God moved amidst the people. One of the people that was greatly touched was the girl who was cohabiting with the young man. Of course, the young man never saw anything. Because he had not made up his mind. He said the frogs will go tomorrow. Hello? Hello. But this girl, Jesus called her. She was caught in a vision. He went to heaven and Jesus showed him the glory of heaven. So this girl cried because of her sins for the next 72 hours. Those are three days. He never went to the young man's house anymore. When he, the young man, after looking for him, found her still crying, eyes swollen red. 
She asked her, why have you not been answering my calls? Why have you been away? And the girl said, when that young man worshipped there, something happened. I saw Jesus. I saw the glory of heaven. I am not going to lose that glory because of this useless relationship. And that's how the young man lost his girlfriend. The young man concluded by saying, God, if one day I will get born again, I would like to be a pastor. But it makes me to be a pastor who makes young men lose their girlfriend and girls lose their boyfriend. That is the purpose I'm here today in the name of Jesus. By my coming today, I pray girls that have boyfriend, you lose them today. Boys that have girlfriend, you lose them today in Jesus' name. Oh, Greta, good. We cannot remain the same. Hello. Hello. You cannot hear a word like this and remain the same. Unless you are in <laughs> Hey, another one. In sexual fantasy. Mwalimu wa mesimama. Ama kuna mwanaume wa mesimama wae ni musijana. Unamutua guo zote. And some of us are involved in sexual fantasy in the class. No wonder we get zero in mathematics. And zero in sciences. You know, sciences are so simple. Hello. How many believe that sciences are very simple? And in mathematics, like, hiya, I'm pedagogy sciences. Hey, tap the anointing from me. I love sciences and I love mathematics. I'm very sure that you get a form four. And you bring me a mathematics paper. I did mathematics that years ago. Like you took a career in Takushida. I love mathematics. Praise the Lord. Go on, Anatu Nasifiwe. Another one is fratted dressing. You know nowadays, girls are very fratted. They want their parts to be seen. Others are even going to change their back. But it looks bigger. May the Lord God help you. The Bible says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The way I am, let me tell you, if you want to see God, those of us who have never seen God, look at yourself in the mirror. That's how God looks like. And you are so wonderfully and fearfully made. That way, for the glory of God. So don't be lied to that uh, I can increase a few inches of my gluteal muscles. I can pump up my chest that when people look at me, <laughs> let me tell you, where you see flies, they are feces. Mari unano vijana na wanaume wa mesimama na wanafuwa ka hapo, masile kui. Niyo ni mavi hiko hapo. Jema tajiuza. Vibaya zekai. Fata ba nani? Taji tebeza. Praise the Lord. I am not here to entertain you. I'm not laughing. I'm just here to talk about the truth. And having by the what? The truth. So you don't have to dress and expose anything. Remember, Mungu wa rikuba ukiwa na mke wako. Kama ya ni kijana. Musichana uliupa ukiwa na buwana yako. Na yuko duniani. The moment you change, He'll also be frustrated. You never see you. Kazi yako ni ya kuwala kubawa vizuri. And dress the way God will dress. Don't dress like a prostitute. Praise the Lord. Now, where are we getting all these queer behaviors? Where are the sources of this queer behavior? Number one is entertainment. Let me tell you. People love entertainment. If I came here with a singer, gospel artist, or those other guys, I remember, I don't know how which years, I don't know if it was 2010 or 20 what, we were in a weekend challenge like this. That time, Mr. Mwayonga was the CU patron. There's a certain people who came from citizens. 
kumbamba you know kumbamba group walikuja hapa hivi na gari yao imejaa mawashiri then the CEO patron told me pastor you must be knowing these guys we don't know them they wanted to come and take over they had even connected the machines you know those things that are called are the shakers zilivyokuwa hapa then people start to ask who are these Personally, I knew the Kubaba group. And uh, because they had done some havoc somewhere. So I told them, no. I took up charge and I said, you are not going to minister in this school. You are not going to spare our girls and our boys in this school. And therefore I told them, pack up and go. And they left. You see, because of that boldness, the leader of Kubaba came and told me, Pastor, get me your number. Because I want you to mean to to be my my mentor. Of course, we have never communicated with them. You know, people have entertainment. No wonder you are going to the TikTok to keep laughing like a hooligan. <laughs> Instead of going, you know, and let me tell you this: what you watch determines who you are going to be. If I want to be an architect, I want to go to the social media, watch architects drawing. If I want to be an engineer, I want to go to Al Khalifa, the tallest building in Dubai in the world, to see how it was constructed. I want to go to the longest bridge for the two kilometers that is built in China and it is on the ocean and it has only two pillars. That was designed using two years. I want to know how it was done. You have, please watch what can build your mind. Stop watching trash. Girls, stop shaking what your mama gave you. <laughs> Use your brains that God gave you. Praise the Lord. Vijana, you are now competing with the girls. Even in the, that entertainment industry. There are some music. Number two is music. Kuna ma muziki ya bayo, kia mungu. I used to watch mu uh, music before I got born again. I will tell you the two genres of music I used to listen to. You'll be shocked to know I used to be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> That's a secret my wife doesn't even know. She has known right now. I used to be a rapper. <laughs> I thank God when I got born again. God told me I want to use you. Come out of that useless music. You know rap is just about Violence, drugs, you know reggae, reggae, reggae music is the worst one, you know the word reggae comes from a certain reggae word, no, Jamaican word, reggae, reggae, R-E-G-E, R-E-G-E, -E. and it means matagari, matabara, rags, <laughs> that's why you never see a Rastafarian that is matred dressed. From their hair order to the shoes, we matagari, matabara. Because the spirit behind the song is poverty. You may say, "Kuna ati ati celeb wa wa rapa ba ya kori." The spirit is poverty. And some of you who play kwara ya pa ibne ustate, you know, dancing like a madman, matagari, rags, run from some of the music. Rhythm and blues. I also used to listen to rhythm and blues. Songs about rap. Celine Dion and the others. I thank God when I got born again. I've never sang a rap song to my wife. Why? I got delivered. And he thought, because where's the Rudy? Praise the Lord. My mouth is meant to worship the Lord. And uh, not to sing. You know some of you are very good in singing. And they sing love songs to their girlfriend. <laughs> Mature rap. Grow up. Use your mouth to worship the Lord. And exalt the Lord. Wacha ni muambia vijana na wasijana. Kuimbiwa wimbo does not mean unapendwa. Hala. You could also be singing to some other tent. Number three is media. You know, media are very good in propagating all these scenes. And that's why I'm saying you are very careful. In our family, there are very few channels that you watch. 
In fact, I don't even see the need for a TV, personally. And I'm telling you, I'm coming from a situation whereby mimi ni mutu wa kuwatch my TV, na my movies, na my series. Kwa hivyo mimi, I'm not better than you. But I've been delivered from it. Praise the Lord. Can you stop watching more of this stuff? And you're going to be more godly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we read romantic books. Nobody used to read them like myself. Lakini ukisoma hiyo kitabu kitoka hapo, mwili wako unawaka. Moto. One of the questions that the young people ask me when I attend this kind of meeting, they ask me, Pastor, hii mwili nasikia ikiwa moto, inazimango aje hii moto. I return them to the scriptures. Proverbs 26 verse number 20. Proverbs 26 verse 20 says this, where there is no fire, where there is no wood, mahali ya babu hakuna kuni, moto huzimika. Kwa hivyo, ukione akoma mwili wako kona moto, kuna kuni pahali, itoe katika jina la isu. Na kuni naeza kuwa, kuna vitu na angarianga, kuna tumagazi na jiakaliria. You go to porn sites in your phone. By the way, at your age, if you have a phone, you are just destroying your destiny. If you have to use a phone, Use your parents' phone. Mm, yeah. You don't need a phone. What the phone? Who are you communicating with? Which clients are you communicating with? Which business do you have? And some of us have better phones than even ourselves. Wherever your priorities are upside down, mm. go and sell it and buy books. <laughs> and you'll be well and safe. So that in the future, you have a very good work. And you can afford to buy at the, hey, at the user sim. Eh, user sim. Ile dawa ni mereta, ni ile abai na itakuwa doro. Tumelawana. Vita pills. But they treat. Uza hiyo simu. Nunuwa kitabu. So that in the future, when they are launching iPhone 14, which is costing 350,000, you say you need change. Lakini some of you have kaduda. Ukitoka hapa utashitwa kununuwa kaduda yako. Why? You destroyed your destiny. May the Lord God help you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hey, another one is loneliness. You are so lonely, doing nothing. And idleness. A student who is idle doesn't know what he's doing. A student should never be idle. Oh. Idleness and a student should never be measured in the same sentence. There are many story books to read. From four, are you there? There are very many books to, to read. A story book. If you want to pass in a storybook, I don't know how many times you have read your storybook, but if you want to pass in English and get a name, that book should not be read less than 15 times. And I know some of us have read only two times. And they are comfortable saying, I'm waiting for a name in KCSE. That's a mirage. Read the books. Control your free time in the name of Jesus. So how can you be delivered? from all this queer behavior. Number one, repent. The best message that was taught and spoken of by John the Baptist was, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Where I'm going, the school that I'm going in, I'll be talking about the kingdom of God. How the kingdom of God comes, the first word, when you talk about the kingdom of God, is repent. Repent means I change my behavior, I change my mental attitude. It means I will no longer do the same things, behave the same way I was behaving. Today, if you want to be better, Leo, divorce your girlfriend. Divorce your boyfriend. Repent that. Number two. Acknowledge your lies. You know, some of us fail to acknowledge. There's a song that they sang in Chinese. Either I am a sinner. Even when you look at me, God. Acknowledge. I have a problem. I masturbate. That is a problem. Acknowledge it. Let me tell you, one of the ways of being healed is acknowledgement. 
I can only choose the Lord. I am weak, but I want to be strong in faith. Are we in number three? Are you there in number three? Be with me in number three. Ask God to set you free. In Matthew 7, verse 7, the Bible says that when we pray, whoever asks receives. Whoever knocks, the door is open to them. Can you knock the door today in the name of Jesus? Number four, develop a relationship with God. The Bible says that when you draw close to God, God will draw closer to you. Can we develop a positive relationship with the Lord today? Number five, very important, guard your gates. Guard your gates. We have, five we have five gates to our spirit. One of the greatest ones is our eyes. That's why I'm saying watch what you watch. Guard your gates. Wastana, guard your ears. Some of us listen to anything. I've ever seen a boy, a boy who has no good clothes, tattered clothes, Siripa in Meraruka, Mbaka Hapa Nishimo, and he's sitting a young girl. And as a community of each other, and what we know is Shule. This Shule is a situation of Babuyago. The school fees that the boys pay here, 10% is paid to my family. As a, a bright girl, tell that young man, go and buy clothes. Have a life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Was China. We have listened to rise for too long. It is time to change in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Avoid loneliness. Avoid idleness. Is the next one. Avoid idleness. Amen. Amen. Starve the habit to death. You know there are some habits that we have. Can you starve them to death? Let them die in Jesus' name. Come on, Kunyonga. Starve it. Let me tell you, there is power in starvation. Starve the, that behavior, that queer behavior to death. You know, sometimes you write notes in high school. A guy writes a note to a boy. Please watch out again for music. Just listen to me. Mutawajua tu. Praise the Lord. Kuadikiana tu barua. I love you. You are my onion. When I see my heart, Patagasha. Approach that guy and tell him. Sinners, liars, you have their place in the lake of fire. Praise the Lord. How many girls can be that bold and tell the young man, I have a destiny. If you love me, wait. Wait patiently upon God. Amen. Kama mtu wana kupeda ata kukojia. Kama akupedi ata kutumia na akudrushe na huko. Amen. The last one is God your thought life. God your thought life. You can read Ephesians 4, verse 23 and 24. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24. Guard your thought life. Allow me to read that Ephesians 4, verse 23. And what? Verse 23 and verse number 24. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether the Lord God is speaking to you. Is the Lord speaking to you? He's speaking to me, he's speaking to you. Verse 23. I'm going to read. To be made new in attitude of your might. And to put on the new self. Created to be like God in the righteousness and in holiness. Change the way you think. Change the way you behave. Change your thought life. I want us to pray. I want us to be quiet before the Lord. I want us to close our eyes before the Lord. Because I want us to speak to God. You have heard the message about queer life. Our eyes are closed. 
every person, I don't want to see eyes looking at me. Your eyes are closed and they are closed to God. You have had, I don't know which queer life you have. I don't know which queer thoughts or a queer attitude that you have and behavior. The Lord God is speaking to you this morning. Praise the Lord. The Lord is speaking to you this morning. And what the Lord is saying is this. He can change your life. Are you here? And you want to give your life to Christ. Raise up your hand, I pray with you. From wherever you are. Remember our eyes are closed. Put the heart up to God. You are not putting it to me. I am not a life giver. Jesus is the life giver. Jesus can change your life. From being queer to being a noble youth. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19 to 22, the Bible says that in a great house we have many articles. Some of the articles are made up of gold. Other articles are made up of silver. Others are made of bronze. Others are made up of other materials, even clay. Some of them are of noble use. Useful. Others are ignoble, useless. The Bible says, if one changes from the latter, which is useless, God can make them to be useful. Raise up your heart together, we pray. As you repeat after me, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I acknowledge my sins. This morning, I receive you as Lord and Savior. I accept you into my heart. Jesus, come into me this morning. From today, help me to be to change from being a useless vessel to being a useful vessel. Help me to guard my gates. Help me to do that is right. From today, from today, I choose, I choose Jesus. Jesus. From, today, from today, I will live for you all the rest of my life. I accept you as Lord and Savior over my life and my, my everything. And today, in front of these many witnesses, I declare I shall live for you. Let me pray for you. King of kings and Lord of all lords, I thank you for this dear life who have accepted you into their lives, O oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus, you help them, O oh God. You sustain them, King of all the glory. Help them to live every form of queer behavior in the name of Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name, you sustain them. You help them, O oh God. You glorify yourself through them. They, are, they will be useful in your kingdom. And Heavenly Father, I declare that their life is blessed. Their future is bright. They have greatness in them. I pray that the devil will not cut it short in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I also thank you for the rest of the school. I commit to both Joy Town Primary School and Joy Town Secondary School to you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that these two schools will be exalted and uplifted by you. Father, I pray that your grace may shine upon this school. Your power and purpose, let it be manifested in this school. We drove out every form of queer behavior out of this school in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we welcome you in this compound, in our dormitories, in our laboratories, in our classes, in our offices, in every space of Joy Town. Jesus, welcome. Take charge. Take preeminence in the name of Jesus. We worship you and honor you. Even as we continue with this wicked challenge, may the Spirit of God hover. May the Spirit of God do what he wants to do in this school in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the school administration. Father and our God, we commit the principle and the deputy principle to you. 
We commit all the prefects to you. We commit all the teachers to you. We commit all the students of both schools to you. Father and our God, let your grace shine upon this school. Let your favor shine upon this school. Let your goodness shine upon this school. Let you, O oh God, manifest yourself in this school. We pray for our chaplain. Heavenly Father, you will continue showing yourself strong and mighty in his life and that of his family in the name of Jesus. We worship you, we reference you, and we adore you. We clap our hearts to you, our Father and our God. As a sign of thanksgiving, let's clap unto the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. With by clapping our hearts unto him, for his faithful, for his able, for his going to keep us in the name of Jesus. We bless and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I'm a nauda. There's a book that I've written here. How to conquer your wilderness experience. A wilderness experience is an experience of problem. Majority of us here are going through a wilderness. And there are many problems that you have gone through. And the Lord God talked to me to write a book about the problems that we go through and how to overcome those challenges. And there's a book here. I want to donate a copy to Joy Town Secondary and also Joy Town Primary School. Amen. Amen. And I think the leaders of the two schools, maybe the CU leaders, the chaplain, we can also have the CU patron, they can come to receive the book. We start with the primary school, kindly, in the name of Jesus. You can take a photo. 